wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best USB audio interfaces. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the M-Audio M-Track Plus is ideal for any user whether you're just starting out or have years of experience. It provides good audio quality but disappoints with the inability to supply mixed mono input. It's compatible with a variety of software and has rubber pads to protect your desk surfaces. However, it's not great for condenser mic recording. At number 9, the Steinberg UR12 is well built, easy to set up and comes at an affordable price. It works great as a single input recorder but isn't meant for large band recordings and the preamps are kind of noisy. It includes a mini USB socket for iPad use and is compatible with DAW apps but it doesn't have a MIDI in-out. Coming in at number 8 on our list, the PreSonus AudioBox 22 VSL delivers professional caliber 24-bit 96kHz audio, whether in your home studio or on the road. It features the same award-winning Class A XMAX preamps found in professional recording studios. It comes with a clipping indicator for each channel and two dual-purpose front panel inputs. However, it's not designed to take line-level inputs. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for audio interfaces, or click beneath this video. At number 7, turn your computer into a complete desktop studio using the Native Instruments Complete Audio 6. It features a streamlined circuit design and comes equipped with four analog inputs and four balanced outputs for versatility. It also includes preamps with individual gain controls and 48 volts of phantom power for condenser microphones, but the mic gain controls have a low range. Moving up our list to number 6, the Mackie Onyx Blackjack features high-end ADDA converters, built-in DIs and true analog hardware monitoring of inputs at an affordable price. It's an ultra-compact, portable desktop design that's Windows and Mac friendly. It comes with Mackie's production software and sits at an optimal 25 degree angle. However, it does have some poor latency issues at times. Halfway up our list at number 5, the multi-channel Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 is the best sounding interface in its class with eight award-winning Focusrite microphone preamplifiers. It has powerful routing and monitoring capabilities thanks to its 18 by 16 DSP mixer. It comes in a range of configurations and includes one gigabyte of Loopmaster's samples. It's ideal for recording a complete band. At number 4, the Tascam US 4x4 is a great choice for home, project and mobile studios. The tough all-aluminum outer case was designed in Germany with great desktop visibility and includes a pair of removable biocell side panels. It comes with two DAW applications to choose from, uses the latest Microsoft technology and has XLR quarter-inch combination input jacks. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the cutting-edge Behringer XR18 integrates with your iPad or Android tablet to provide unprecedented mixing power and mobility. Plus, the free remote control app allows you to mix from anywhere in your venue or studio. It comes with a convenient rack mount chassis, a built-in Wi-Fi module, and full-featured channel processing. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for audio interfaces, or click beneath this video. Number 2. The user-friendly PVUSB-P enables you to easily run stereo audio from a computer into a live sound system. It has dual transformers providing perfectly balanced outputs and ground-lifted isolation ideal for sound transfer. It's a solid, rugged construction with a stereo mono switch that delivers consistent and reliable performance. And taking the top spot on our list, record in ultra high definition using the USB 3.0 PreSonus Studio 192. As a central hub for any project or professional studio, it delivers exceptional sonic fidelity with professional monitoring and mixing controls. It features a convenient onboard talkback microphone, 10 versatile balanced outputs, flexible software, and abundant inputs and outputs. 
To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for audio interfaces, or click beneath this video.